Xinjiang and Tibet has become one of the theaters of the post-truth narrative. Uh, it's part of the region where um, a lot of propaganda is being used by the West. Yet again, you've seen that um, we've seen people going to Xinjiang. We've seen diplomats uh, going, we've seen journalists. Yet the narrative that they come out with is totally different. And so for me, in terms of what I've read, what I've researched, is that development is happening in Xinjiang. Contrary to what we've been told by the Western media, people are happy, people are enjoying their lives. I mean, human rights is it's, 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 it's the key uh, for basic life. Number one, the aspect of education, the aspect of uh, just right to life, the aspect to good health. These are fundamental rights, and that's what China is pushing. The facts are there. The GDP has grown, life expectancy has grown, the aspect of just the life expectancy growing, it shows already there's the value of humanity, there's the value of life. And the aspect of GDP growth, that means that there's development that is happening in that area.